Well, along with a little bit of gardening here, we have a new horse. This is uh, Ali. He's a uh, standard bred, six year old boy. <laughs> uh, we're going to chuck him out in the arena and uh, then we're going to put Luke out because he's the ambassador. He's just arrived, he's sort of been settling in with a two inch hay bag. Uh, as we talked about hay bags in the past, um, always giving a horse a chance. He hasn't had a lot of hay bags, so um, give him a chance at the two inch, then one and a half, and then one inch. And we'll see how he goes. He's here for a month. Do some trail riding and stuff like that. Okay, so let's put him out, and then uh, and then Luke is going in right after him. All right. Okay. He's free to move around. David's taking the, some weeds to the back from the garden. He's a nice looking horsey, that's for sure. He's got those nice dapples going on. We'll follow him around a little, see what he wants to do. So, yes, a little bit of uh, uh, background, I suppose. He's uh, he's a standard bred, so he's done some racing in his time. I don't know a lot, and it doesn't really matter, especially for in my mind, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> he's very, very friendly. Uh, that's what we want to look at. What is a horse like right now? Uh, he's quite friendly. He's relatively inquisitive of things. He certainly uh, appears to want to get to know everybody. I haven't uh, introduced him to anybody yet. We can see uh, Roni in the background, sort of giving him some eyeballs and making sure that Lena keeps her distance. So we're not just looking at, uh, you know, the horse we got here. We want to look at everybody else too, because he's definitely going to get socialized. He's a very social horse from my understanding. Look at those dapples. Look at him. Just good looking boy, sound of mind and all that kind of stuff. Let him wander just a little bit. Like most standard breads, it's quite calm. Just methodically checking things out. Gonna do some riding with him. Probably not today. Trail riding, for sure. Trailer training, groundwork, all the usual stuff. Give him a bit of an assessment a little later, probably today. And uh, keep up to date with him over the next month. And things that he Needs to learn to just be a good little... She's actually she's quite big. <laughs> it's, a, it's, good, it's probably a good 16 hands. Uh, but a good little horsey for <clears throat> people to ride around and stuff. So, it doesn't look like there's much to watch. <laughs> He's pretty chill. Pretty chill. It's nice to see. Let's see if he follows me a bit. He is. Ah, he's gonna run me over. I'll stop. I'll back up. Leave him. See, it's good. All right, great behaviors. Sniffing around, checking the place out. Hopefully, he'll have a roll. Actually, come to think of it. Just a nice horse. Really nice feel to him. Um, you know, you come across horses that are pushy or, I mean, defined as pushy as and they just don't care. They just kind of walk through you and stuff. Uh, him just likes to be around. Okay, let's go get Luke and continue this on. Okay, free. Just let Luke off the halter. Let's cruise around and see how much they yell at each other. Twinsies, like bookends. <laughs> Holy! The freeze brand though gives him away. Yeah. Is it a freeze brand? Is that what it's called? Probably. And then Luke's got one, one white sock. Okay, let's see what they do. Luke's pretty playful, so he might push him around a bit. This guy's only six. Luke's eight or nine. A lot of talk. Quiet. 
it. Punch to the chin. Boys will be boys, as they say. Luke's got his number. He's being cautious though, he's really reaching. <laughs> it's a long greeting. Luke's gonna check him out, see if he can move him around. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. It's not working. Well, it worked a little. Go get him, man. It's like that guy punched me in the chin. Yep. That's what happens. Oh, a little bit of draw. That's a long conversation between these two. I don't think it's been quite figured out the hierarchy yet. Luke's being kind of cautious, not too pushy about it all. Standard breads, eh? Calm, quiet, but sooner or later they get pretty playful. Every standard bread that's ever been here has been super playful. Luke gets along with them great. There we go. Now oh, we got some speed. Oh, he stopped him. So he's got a little bit of control over him. That won't, that never lasts. Luke's usually underneath. Stop way back here. I'm all the way zoomed in, so I can kind of affect them less, hopefully. Best buds now. Yeah, all of the experiences that <clears throat> uh, I've had and obviously in turn Luke has had with standard breads has been a lot like this. Just calm and chill with each other, a lot of chit chat back and forth. Some draw, some drive. Sooner or later they start running around and enjoying their time together. And uh, you know he'll get he'll get some work together with the other horses. Right now there's no girls in here, so there's you know less to worry about. They can just talk and sniff and check each other out. Who's the stronger horse? Who's the healthier horse? <laughs> Punched again. Look at that tail go up. Looks out. And they're apart. Go to your corners. The 
first five minutes. What do I usually say? Six to eight minutes, horses get everything worked out. So I think we've got another minute or so. Looks like, stop, stop punching me in the chin. Swish of the tail. This is a pretty tough guy. Time will tell. No. Oh, there you go. Luke's got to stretch his mouth out, yawn it off. Pretty normal, as long as we don't see any blood, you know what I mean? Is uh, I am not going face to face. Says you better move it or I kick you. But he probably won't. Oh, he says he might. Some mutual respect going on there. It's nice to see. Just let them do a drive by. <laughs> uh, horses. Sometimes you see them, you know, they introduce themselves to a new object like the barrel there. He's like, whoa! That might be the majority of the excitement at the moment. But he's a pretty nice horse to people and sound of mind, all that kind of good things. Really nice. Um, how's it going, buddy? Did you lose? Did he make you move around some? What do you need? Scratch? No, you're out. Goodbye. Oh, Nanners is yelling. Well, there's a horsey that we should consider putting in. Got branches in here still, left over from branch training. Oh, here he comes. So I'll back away. I don't want to be part of it. I definitely want them to get things worked out on their own. Try not to interfere. Try not to chase anybody off. Luke says, why are you sniffing? Oh, sniffing. I bite you now. He says, it's hard to be friends with somebody who's so rough. Luke's such a gentle creature. He tends not to sort of uh, I mean, I know a lot of people get worried when he sort of nibbles on Rue and chases him around a bit, but you rarely see him ever make hard contact. So, it's not usually in his repertoire of actions. A little more playful than aggressive, is the best way to put it. Not that I think this guy's aggressive at all, I think he's actually fantastic. I like the way he's sort of teaching Luke something. You know, I, I enjoy when my horses learn off of other horses, different things, different reactions, different techniques. Should have been more prepared. Should have lifted his head. Things like that. Or get your butt out of the way, or lift a foot up, or whatever. Man, I gotta make my way around again. Nope. He gives gives the butt a little bit and leaves. But the other guy doesn't push. He's not, not trying to bite or kick or do anything untoward. So I think he's... There he pushed Luke a little to the left. He's like, I'm going to come and cut you off. Luke says, this is my place. I cut you off, sucker. Right? Didn't quite get the angle on him. Just almost twins. Same kind of dappling going on. Looks just a little lighter. A little shorter. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is where the sword fighting starts. Hopefully no more hooves. Oop, there's the threat. I bring my foot up. 
Oh, he's, he's going to try to move Luke. Looks like that's my trick. Nobody bites my legs. <laughs> Boys. Let's see what happens. More talk, a few more nibbles, some chin trimmings. There won't be a chin here left alive. Once he's gonna cut Luke off. Going a little quicker than him. Luke says, you can't have the angle on me. I'm gonna make a turn. Pushes him all the way over so that the fence is in the way. Keeps his left back leg ready. Yeah. It's perfect. A little bit of sideways. It's fantastic. I like watch I like watching Luke work in this regard. It's like a he's patient. And he's just drawing them along. I gotta leave, I gotta get out of the space. I don't wanna affect them so much. But yeah, this type of subtle communication is really important. See a horse trying to move people around like this and it means something. He's driving Luke around a little. Luke faces up, says, sure man. Each of them checking out, healthy, strong. What's going on here? Bite him on the leg, whatever. So you check that back right leg. Doesn't want him to scoot forward and cow kick him on the way by and stuff. It's good to leave the girls out. One horse at a time we check out, see how they socialize. But Luke sort of backed off as he went by. It's safe. And he's left. What's he gonna do? What now, Luke? What now? I look forward to them getting to know each other a lot more and uh, really starting their playing activity. And uh, it'll be interesting to see when the girls come in. There's Gracie, she's kind of interested. She's like, hey, what's up there? Dark brown and handsome. Right. I like your dapples. So Luke's got to go over and draw them a bit. But yeah, when we put the girls in, it'll really start to... It's like bringing in food as well. Oh, Nanners is yelling again. Oh, no, she's yelling because she's getting food. But there's no running yet. No running around so much. Mm, Gracie seems uh, interested. Who's this new boy with his... Dapply goodness. Can horses see that? I guess they can, eh? Yeah. Luke, what are you gonna do, buddy? Should honestly chase them around sooner or later. Get them to herd up a bit. Making sure everybody understands that I do a bit of pushing here and there and some driving. But yeah, girls will come soon. You know. See how Roni reacts? He's, he's not a fighter, but he's a defender. So, Anyways, Lena's back there now, in case anybody's wondering. Lena's with Roni and Ruli at the back, because there's lots of space there. And this pretty much leaves us full for horses. Could probably fit another if I absolutely had to, but I try not to absolutely have to fill up. Will he go with Luke? Will he leave with him? He's like, what's that? Big white goodness. <laughs> Look at him, he's making his way over there. Yeah, so got to introduce him to everybody. He needs socializing, it's all part of training. Very, very important. 
Happy horses are easier to train, much, much easier. Healthy, happy, socialized, mentally relieved. So, uh, you're going to smash into the camera. What's going on, pal? He says, scratch me now, human. Okay. I'm well trained. He's happy. Scratch him harder. <laughs> I don't want him running me over. I'm out. So, maybe that's it for now, as it's not really that interesting other than the silent, sort of quiet work that's being done. Definitely interested in the girls, so I'll have to get that figured out pretty soon. Anyways, this is our new guy, here for a little bit, I think a month, and uh, gonna get some, some groundwork and riding done with him. It's gonna be fun. At least I think it will be. It's a good looking boy. Okay everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.